I think it's white cheddar. Let me see. I think white cheddar. Don't quote me on that though. I never said I was a cheese expert. All right, let's do this. Today I went to. There. KFC to try the ultimate barbecue chicken sandwich. And this is what I have been waiting to try. So let's go. Oh, these fries are piping hot. Piping hot fries on a piping hot day. Mm-hmm, I like that. It's good stuff. Is it me or do they, or do their fries look different? I'm confused. What was I envisioning? I think I was thinking of, um, Popeye's fries? No, I thought their fries looked different. I, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> the ultimate barbecue chicken sandwich, it has honey barbecue on it. It has bacon on it, crispy onions. I believe it said pickle. Okay, yeah, pickles on here. And then it says melted cheese. It doesn't say what the melted cheese is. I see this cheese is white. I see this cheese is white. Is it Swiss? No. Hmm. I guess we shall have to try it out and see. It's a secret, because they didn't tell it, they just said melted the cheese. They said they want you to decide. This is the bun off, though, for sure. Getting all the barbecue, crispy onion flavors. Onions are very messy on this. But, I'm starving, so without further ado, let's try it out, shall we? We shall. I'm really excited, I don't know if y'all can tell. I see the, the pickle, I got excited. Yeah, I was thinking, I don't see pickle. Yeah, so far it's got a whole bunch of barbecue sauce. Hmm. It is good, but... My oh my, is it messy? Hmm. The fries are really good. Okay. It is it should be called the ultimate messy chicken sandwich. It's okay. It does not wow me. I don't feel wowed. I got it like there's a lot more. I will say the fries, though, definitely pick it up. Mm, I love KFC's mac and cheese, so... And I've been kind of craving mac and cheese. So. Mm-hmm. That's nice. They always do a great job with their mac. My mom only just calls it mac. Like, it was already shortened from macaroni and cheese to mac and cheese. And then here I am, their mac. I can't be the only one that does that. I really don't think I am. I don't. So, they also have blackberry lemonade, which sounds really good. So, let me see. Okay, back to the sandwich in just a chat. So I am back from um LA. I know y'all probably see the tan line. Hello. 
At least it's the tan line now and not the sunburn that came with it. Because, ouch. I didn't even realize I was sunburned until you got back from the hotel. And I was just like, man, like, my shoulders and like my neck really hurt. My necklace is bothering me. Went back to the hotel. And I was like, I was so red. No, no wonder. Come on, that piece was really good. This is what I feel like about this sandwich. I think it's... I think the barbecue sauce makes it... It's like overpowering it too much. Maybe if there was less barbecue sauce... Then yes, because as y'all see, as y'all saw, that was really messy. It was like they just drowned it in barbecue sauce. Still, so I'm just tasting like bread and barbecue sauce. I can't even taste the cheese really, and that's not fun. So, the chicken alone is really, really good. There, it's also in a brioche bun, but I mean, it's just the barbecue sauce is just like, mmm, it's so loud in it. If there was less sauce, I like it better. Cause I don't even get a chance to taste really the onion either. Okay, now I do because it's separate. I think, for me personally, if I were to get this again, I ask for less barbecue sauce. I mean, I'm okay with a lot of barbecue sauce on the, my ribs and stuff, but I don't know. I feel like for a sandwich, I kind of want to taste everything in the sandwich that they had in it, you know? But that's that. I lost track of what I was talking about, but what I do know is there's so many things I want to tell you guys about the trip, but I'm editing the vlog right now, so <sighs> kind of be planning to tell you all about the trip if I'm making a vlog out of it. Yes. But I will say I got to write the bike on Venice Beach. I can tell you all this because I didn't get any footage of it. It was more so like you had to be there a moment. Just experiencing it. Um, that and also um, I can't really ride a bike. So me filming that. That probably would have resulted in me falling over. But I got to ride a bike on Venice Beach. And it was so nice. I don't really know how to ride a bike. You know the saying? It's like riding a bike. Um, you can't forget. I forgot. I forgot how to ride a bike. That's embarrassing, I know. <laughs> um, that's crazy. Like, who forgets how to ride a bike? This girl here. Me. The dumbest thing. So, so my friend was like, oh, um, because we had to reach, um, the Santa Monica beach was like nine minutes away i didn't know that until like a couple days ago um like nine minutes away to get to the ferris wheel and like the dock because she rented her bike but it wasn't like a time like type of thing so so we had it for like an hour or something 
So, it was like, there's no way we can walk there from that time. It's like nine minute drive, um, not walk. Wow, that walk was like an hour or something. Not an hour, like an hour. There's no way. So I was like, we had to bike it. I was like, maybe, maybe I can remember how to ride. Let me, let me see your bike. And I got on hers. Completely forgot how to balance. The balance was not coming at all. And then I tried to pedal. Wow. And I had to keep catching myself from falling because... I could not stay upright. I didn't fall all the way down, thankfully. Okay, so then um, we got, you know those VO bikes? Um, they're like, more so like motorized. They don't make a sound or anything. It's not like a motorcycle. But um, like, you know, so there's the bird scooters that you can just get on and just go and they're like, you don't have to manually do anything. So yeah, they have the bikes like that too. So. I was, she was like, how about you take that? And I'm like, if I can ride a regular bike, I don't think I can ride that. Tried it out for like 20 minutes. It took me like 20 minutes to figure out this thing, kind of. Um, it was like the first minutes, I, like I kept leaning to the left. And then she's like, why are you leaning to the left? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm leaning to the left. She's like, stop leaning to the left. I'm like, I, I can't. Like, I don't know how to stop leaning to the left. So I couldn't stay upright on it, but... It was just like the pressure of time, one, pressure of time, two, the embarrassment of thinking about, man, if somebody sees me fall, that's going to be embarrassing. So, it took me like 20 minutes to get the hang of the bike, the motorized bike, that is. Um, the electric bike? I don't know what we're calling this thing, but I finally got it. And oh my gosh. After I stopped being afraid of it, it was so fun. Like, it felt so freeing, like I was flying. I was like, I really feel like I'm flying right now. This is great. And I kind of understood why people bike now. Before, I was like, I don't know why people want to bike. Like, as a hobby, as a sport. I get it now. I think that was the most fun I had. Was biking on Venice Beach. I'm gonna try this cheese. White cheddar? I think it's white cheddar. Let me see. I think white cheddar, don't quote me on that though. I never said I was a cheese expert. But yeah, so we did make it to the the pier. Just in time for like 15 minutes left. Because from the time it took for me to learn how to ride the bike. Then to bike there. The time for her running a bike was basically up in like 15 minutes. But it was great. She was telling me how proud she was of me. She's like, I'm so proud you didn't give up. And I was like, great. I was secretly hoping you'd give up for me. <laughs> because I didn't want to look like a Debbie Downer. So I was just hoping you'd be like, you know what? You ain't got this. It's okay. But you never did. You never you never gave up for me. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted her to give up for me so bad. But... I'm kind of glad she didn't because it was the most fun I had. For just one sandwich, I am actually pretty full and I'm not even done. Hmm. Well, I got a cute little snack later. That's always a plus. I had to go home and take these nails off. They're still... I don't want to show you messy hands. They're still on, like... I'm impressed because these are press ones. Like, and people say that 
their press-ons don't last or they got to keep reapplying. It's been a week. A little over a week. If y'all want to know the nail glue, I can let you know. But it's KISS. It's KISS nail glue. Um, this one is lifting a little bit. But it's still on there pretty good. So... I tr to the point, I actually tried to take them off yesterday, but that didn't work out, and last time I just tried to force them off, because I don't know if you guys know, but my job, I can't have them on, so I went to work, um, not, was it not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, and I was actually really, not really sick, but pretty, kind of, like, I was starting to come down with a cold. Let's just say that um, when I got back from L.A. And it's crazy because I feel amazing right now. It feels like it didn't even happen, like nothing ever happened. It feels like sick. I wasn't sick to the point I forgot to tell, to tell you all about it, like at all. But, um, yeah, so I wasn't doing well at work um, when I got back in two days. Well, when I went back to work two days ago. And um, my boss, he was like, oh, hey, Kyra, I'm going to talk to you. And I was like, I already know the nails are coming off. It's just been, I've been so sick that I, I just couldn't take them off, really. And he's like, okay, well, next time you get back to work, they have to come off. So it was that. And it was just like, man, like, I just like, I could not stop sneezing, runny nose, sore throat, all that. But I've been taking these echinacea drops. So that's what it is. But, um... So, yesterday, I was starting to feel better. So, I tried to take the nails off yesterday. I did. And, um, wow, they did not budge. Just like last time. I don't know if you guys, probably not. Um, but I had nails for New Year's. And they were green press-on nails. And even those took me forever to take off. Like, they just say, oh, soak it in hot water with soap and oil and all that did that did not like maybe like two came off the rest did not budge so i ended up having to like i even started to add like acetone to it um still would not budge so like i had to like basically like kind of rip them off which actually hurt really bad um and then also like my own physical nail was starting to like like the layer like the top layer was ripping off with it so not all the nails, like, you know, there's layers to your nails. Um, but wow, my nails were so tender from doing that. So I said, I don't want to do that again, but I did find that they have a nail polish remover. No, sorry. Um, let's try it again. There it is. Nail glue remover. Um, for press-ons, for the, the really good glue. Um, cause my friend, she was like, what glue is that? What glue are you using? What the heck? I'm like. These might as well be acrylics because they are not moving like when I tried to take them off. What was it yesterday? Same thing again. I had barbecue sauce in my where did the barbecue sauce come from? I don't know. Um, same thing again though. Would not budge. So I'm like, I gotta get these off for my job one. But two, I can't hurt myself again. That that really, really hurt to do. Oh, I'm still, like, remembering, like, how I have to, like, oh, uh, I haven't tried the dental floss trick. They're like, oh, like, scoop under it and, like, oh, pop it off. Yeah, okay. I was scooping under it, prying it off. That's what I was doing. And that's, like, what really made it hurt. Would not recommend. Would not recommend. So, I'm going to try the, I'm going to try the glue. The glue remover. And let you guys know if it if it works out. I mean, well, certainly you guys will see. Well, I have to take these nails off one way or another, whether it works or not. But I'll let you know if that works. All right, so rating, gotta rate it. There isn't like song for rating. I just I just want to sing. Um, <laughs> so rating, I'm gonna rate the sandwich. Let's go for one of ten. Five. Oh, I got like knocked down. Not even six, like five. It was just okay. The chicken itself was really good, but there was so much happening with the barbecue sauce. It was just like, this is too much. Couldn't even taste the cheese until I like picked it off and like actually physically ate the cheese. You know what I mean? To understand it was white cheddar. 
it's too much. If you can't just tell, like, all the things that are on the sandwich, what was even the point? It should have just been a barbecue chicken sandwich. Don't add the other stuff. Okay, they could have kept the pickle in there because I did taste the pickle. But that's about it. I don't know, why bother the other things? Why bother? Save yourself some money. Just don't put the other stuff on there. The price, it was like $13. It was like, I might have a receipt lying around. I do not... It still was like thirteen dollars. I said the mac and cheese was in it too, though. So probably it was around maybe like mm, ten, eleven dollars without without the mac. But yes, that is it. That is all. All right, real quick because my camera is overheating in this hot Georgia sun. But for those of you still watching, thank you. And. Would I buy this sandwich again? No. Because it was too messy and it was just it was just drowned in barbecue sauce. Unless I said less barbecue sauce, but I'm it, and just no. It just it was too much. Just it was too much going on. It was a lot. It was a lot happening. <laughs> too much for my taste, that is. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Where I put out new videos every Monday. And until then, I'll see you next time.